Hey guys, so I just realized my camera was going in and out of focus during the video, which kind of sucks. I'm really sorry, but it does it like on and off and it always goes back. It's not like it's fully out of focus. So it does go back. It just does it a couple times throughout the video. So thank you guys so much for watching again. I hope you guys enjoy the video, even with the couple blur blur blurry parts. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Hey guys, so this is a video that's going to be not about hamsters today. This is going to be about these colorful bracelets. Um, they are called Candy, K-A-N-D-I, not C-A-N-D-Y. And they are usually traded or given at raves and festivals. Certain festivals, like EDM festivals or techno festivals. Um... I want to do my candy collection today, at least my main cuffs that I have that I really enjoy and that I really believe are so cute, so awesome, and um, they're just amazing. I really think I love them, even though I've made them all. Alright, so this is what an epic cuff looks like. If you guys are like new or you only thought there were these kind of candies. Um, this is a normal epic cuff. This is like a standard size epic cuff. So what is so important to me about this cuff is that my boyfriend and I, when we first started dating, we wore these necklaces that I got from Peru that have this um, emblem on it. And uh, I know it's, it's a cross kind of thing and it's something to do, I think, with Aztec and stuff like that, but... Um, I just really thought it was a really pretty stone, I think, is this Mario mushroom cuff that I made. I don't know, to make it more look like a flower instead of like some weird jumbled together thing if you tied it on with strings, which usually I do tie on purlers, but I decided to, um, use, oh god, she's climbing her water ball. I decided to use hot glue instead. My next... Favorite cuff, I, this was like one of the first cuffs I've ever made. This is a yin yang cuff, obviously. And I made this for my boyfriend, but it's a little too small for him. You know, but he really loves it and just looks at it as being really cute and he really likes it. So maybe I'll wear it one day because it's so small. But um, is this to the moon and back cuff? I was actually going to put, um, you were the sun and the moon to me, but I just didn't want to because I just, I don't know, I didn't want to reference a song. So I said inside, I kind of tried, I mean, maybe I can show you guys, I kind of tried to make the inside have like these scattered, um, transparent yellow beads to kind of resemble stars in the night and, um, these yellow ones all the way around here glow in the dark and... Obviously, it's supposed to be like a starry night, so I really love this cuff. I made a um, time lapse video on YouTube like a couple months ago making this cuff, so you guys can go watch that video after this video if you want. As one of my favorite cuffs, because it's so freaking cute, is this owl cuff. Um, this is actually a pretty big cuff. It's not big doesn't mean like fat but it's like really tall so I really love this owl cuff this is like so adorable like look at that face like how can you not love that face <laughs> because I'm just gonna share them both um this is my zodiac symbol I am an Aquarius and as you can see they're like just beads all around stuff like me and then blue and there's like a ribbon wrapped throughout here and Aquarius and like these little cool beads mine and then I made one for my boyfriend and he's an Aries so I made him an Aries and his is actually really cool his is and instead of the ribbon I did this red bead but really like this one and red is the Aries color. So this one I actually did not make. My boyfriend made me this one. It is a Mario mushroom. 
it's uh, these ones up here and these ones, and this color ones are glow in the dark and these ones are really pretty actually. And my boyfriend actually made me this one. It was his first cuff he ever made, which is kind of cute. He made it for me. So I thank him. If he ever watches this, thank you, Boo Bear, for making me this okay. cuff. Okay, next cuff. So this cuff, it says Boo. Not Boo as in mean ghost Boo, but Boo as in mean Boo Bear. So my boyfriend and I have this thing where he calls me Boo and I call him Bear and together we make Boo Bear and sometimes we call each other Boo Bear. So I decided, before he went to California, I decided to make us um, two cuffs, two matching, two matching cuffs. His is Bear and mine is Boo. His is Blue. I haven't seen it in a while because it's with him in California, so I'm not really sure what that one looks like, but it has the same like stones that I bought from Michael's. It does not have, obviously, the pearls like this one does. This one is extremely, extremely girly. This is a mini, mini epic cuff. It's really small. I am um, not into making, like, huge, huge, huge cuffs anymore because they take up so much time and so many beads, and it's, like, it's really difficult finishing them. But I did make my boyfriend a, um... Dreamcatcher cuff. It's actually a really, really, really big cuff, and it has um, rainbow on the inside and the stones around it with the blue pearls. Um, these green ones in here are glow in the dark, so it does glow in the dark, and I just really love this Dreamcatcher cuff that I made for him, and of course, I have a matching one. That was mine. This was actually the first one I made out of the two. I made this one actually a really, really, really long time ago. But this is my favorite one I've made almost. Like these two are my favorites almost. Because I just love these two. They're so beautiful. They're so pretty. I actually made, I don't even know what she is anymore to me, but I gave my friend one of these cuffs. It was not as big as this. I would have not given her one as big as this. It's a normal size epic cuff um, with this on and it's green. It's just like all green except for like the white space in the middle where I just put clear beads. But um, yeah, these are two of my really favorite cuffs that I own. And I made them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was really quick. It was one of those things where I just wanted to make a video of my candy, of my favorite candy, and just like share it with you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye. I love them. I love you. I love you. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. <gasps>